I'm Kyle Smith with Haggerty and welcome back to another episode of Kyle's Garage. Today it is all about compression testing and that is because I picked up this 1982 Goldwing Aspen Cade because I've kind of always wanted to do a big trip on one of these big baggers. But it's a little bit tired and I want to know what this 80,000 mile engine is actually like on the inside without tearing it apart. And so I'm going to do a compression test and that will tell me what my rings and valves and some of the things in there look like. Uh, it's just a snapshot of everything, but I think it's going to save me some time and give me a good bill of health on this engine. Here's how to do it. The first step to doing your compression test is to remove the spark plugs. And that is because you want the engine to spin over as quickly and as easily as possible while you have the tester in one of the holes. So I pull the plugs out. This also gives me a good reading of what the plugs look like and how this might have been running previously. So let's see here. The first one comes out. It's a little black. It's not in terrible shape. It looks like it's been a fairly recent replacement though. Because what we're going to do is take the plugs out and then we will replace the plugs with our tester that we have over on the bench with a specific adapter that matches these threads. So we'll go ahead and get these pulled out, all four, on this flat four cylinder. And these Hondas are kind of interesting. From the factory, they have an 18 millimeter spark plug. So you don't, you'll initially reach for your spark plug sockets that have the nice rubber in them that pulls the plug out. And that is not going to be what you should be using, or it won't fit, actually. You can almost see the gas sitting on it. It's really wet. That might be a sign of some carburetor trouble or something else going on. Now, I own a lot of budget-friendly tools, but the compression tester is one that I recommend going ahead and buying a nice one. There's a couple reasons for that. The first is that you're gonna end up with a better gauge. And the second is you're going to end up with multiple adapters, which is going to be really nice. It will allow you to easily use it on any project that comes into your garage. And what we do is take one of our spark plugs and we match it up to one of the adapters. All right, so what we're gonna be using is this actual adapter, which is marked M12, which it's a metric bike, so it should have metric threads, which makes sense. So I'll tighten that down here, and then I can put the gauge right onto it. I will thread this piece into the cylinder head, and the gauge will attach to it. I'll be able to crank the engine over and see how much compression I've got. So uh, let's get this threaded in one of those holes. So with our proper sized one there, I will start on the number one cylinder, which is the farthest forward on this gold wing. And just be real careful to not cross thread this, but get a good tight seal. The O-ring crushed a little bit. And then we'll get our gauge attached. And then we're ready to crank the engine, and see what this gauge reads. Turn my ignition on and then actually crank the engine for a second. Usually three or four cycles of hitting that needle. All right, let's take a look here. So I see we've got about 85-ish pounds. So not fantastic, but not too bad either. So we'll write that down on a piece of cardboard up on the workbench. All right, then we'll switch over to the next cylinder to test. That one got to about 85 as well. So this one's got about 90, 90, 95. All 
right about 85. So it looks like this engine here might have a lot of miles on it for a motorcycle, but it does have even compression across the board, which is what I like to see. That means it might be a little tired uh, or the rings might be starting to go. The cylinders might be a little bit worn, but it's nice and even. That means it's going to run smooth and I'm not going to have any issues with it more than likely past some oil consumption. So. I think on this one, the rings are just a little bit stuck because it's been sitting for quite some time according to the previous owner. So I'm gonna add some Marble Mistro oil or sea foam or uh, some type of light detergent to the gas tank and run it a little bit. And I think that's going to break the piston rings free. And I'll do another compression test in a few weeks after running it a couple times, something like that. A little tip, if you do not have a compression tester and you're curious if compression might be your problem on your engine diagnosis, if you have the ability to get your thumb over the spark plug hole, if it will blow your thumb off, that's usually about 100 PSI of compression. So that's plenty enough. I, that's what I do on a lot of motorcycles when I'm going out and buying something that hasn't been running in forever. Just find out if it has enough compression, especially old two strokes. Perfect, just put your thumb over the cylinder, cycle it through with the kickstart a couple times. If it has enough to blow past that thumb seal, you got all the compression that you need to run. It might not be great, but it'll run. This one, it's that same case. It's not perfect, but it's an old bike that's got a bunch of miles on it and it needs a bunch of love, but it's a good base. And so I'm gonna get to work on it. You should go out and work on your projects. I'll see you next week.